Alrighty, this is the Shawasi Gunner back on the bench. Um, see, seen my other video, I did complete the 50 Beowulf. You know, got the upper, ordered that, got it all together. Um, should be all set to fire. I did order some ammo. Got about 40 rounds of these Alexander Arms uh, 335 grain hollow points. Uh, they look pretty nicely made. Um, I'll see how they, they fire through. Uh, hopefully next week and I can get out there and shoot a little bit. Uh, so originally I had an order put in to Alexander Arms and you know I was going to get a, a four round magazine uh, which is a short one like this and I was going to get two boxes of ammo uh, but they they changed my status of my order to back order because apparently the magazines they didn't have any in stock. Well they couldn't tell me to any intent in time when they would have it together or ship and they wouldn't send me the ammo so I just said screw it uh, went to Midway USA bought some Alexander Arms brand ammo I think they hold the monopoly on the whole deal anyways um, but I think the ammo on there was just a little bit more uh, maybe a, a buck a box more and uh, it, it did come within two days this though I, bu I bought a uh, a 10 round PMAG, you know, standard for the, the 5.56. Five, and I'm going to try to go ahead and convert this to be a more reliable shooter with with the 50 Beowulf. Uh, one thing to note is the problem with these is the lips on these standard 223s hold the, the, yeah, hold the round more flat so it's more apt to, when it feeds forward, catch this lip like this and cause a jam. So on um, what the 50 Beowulf mags, uh, at least from what I've seen on the internet and what I've gathered, they opened up, you know, from, from the factory, like their supplier, they use metal mags, uh, but they opened up these lips to change, you know, a little bit more of a cant like this, and then they open up the front here. Um, and again, they, they use anti-tilt followers, which P mags are. So, you know, being anti-tilt helps a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make some modifications here. Um, I have tried putting these in here. I think, because I was going to try to make a, a four round magazine, but I can only really fit three in this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can only fit three rounds in there. So, uh, that's just fine for for hunting uh, white-tailed deer um, you know if I need to carry another mag or whatever I can but uh, it shouldn't be a problem with three in the magazine and one loaded so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this mag taken apart Not sure if I need to make many. I haven't seen any information about modifying these. Um, it does twist, you know, a little bit. You know, obviously it's not sitting there flat, so it's going to kind of cause some pressure on this. But there's not much really to grind away in there. It's uh, hollow. Otherwise, I'd just take it down a little bit more and match the shape. But um, and if I did that, I might actually fit that fourth round. But I'm just going to leave it for now and see what I can do with you know the more important parts of the feed lips and up here uh, again uh, yeah I'm gonna be taking some of these lips away here and uh, gonna be taking a little bit out the front here and in there there's a little ridge I've seen people mention about getting rid of that to help with uh, you know helping keep it from catch uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to do this and uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back all right, so I'm back. Um, did a little bit of adjustment here. Uh, definitely don't want to take too much away and have it just flop out. But there is a little bit more of an inclination heading more towards the chamber. Uh, I'll show you guys where where I moved some material. It's going to be hard to tell there. Uh, so I opened up these lips a little bit. Um, changed some of the angle on the inside here. Uh, and also, obviously took that down quite a bit, opened that up. So, uh, I think that, you know, 
I'll have to test it first, uh, but we'll see what kind of modifications, uh, if, you know, if that was sufficient or if I need to make any other modifications down the line. <clears throat> Pretty easy to do. Um, I just kind of took this, you know, broken cleaning rod here and wrapped around. Started with, uh, what is this? I think it's about 150 grit sandpaper. It takes a lot of it real quick, um, so you can get kind of a rough shape. And then I went back with a 600 grit finer to make it look a little bit more polished. Um, and then went with a thousand just to get any of the extra little pieces and uh, any of that type of stuff. You know, just extra junk off. Um, so sometimes it sometimes it feels like it doesn't lift up as much. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to try shooting it to see if any more modification will be necessary. And I'll be sure to post, you know, whether or not this would be sufficient or not. Um, but from the get-go, you know, it looks like it changed just a little bit. I think most of the issues are going to be that feeding ramp that need to be taken down. Because uh, as I can see right now, you know, the bolt catches it forward. You know, the big bullet there. It doesn't even have much of an opportunity. It really needs to nosedive to not or to have an issue with it. Uh, so that should ride right on out into the chamber. So I think that's probably the biggest issue with the magazines. Uh, but like I said, I'll be sure to post an update and uh, report my findings and see if anything else needs to be done. So you know, and <clears throat> you know, this mag cost me like I think. 12 bucks or something so it wasn't too bad I uh, really kind of would have just preferred having you know an OEM you know let somebody else deal with it but I uh, figured I'd give it a try I, I do see on the horizon that polymer 80 they do have a I believe it's a 10 round magazine for 50 Beowulf on their site which is kind of weird because uh, they really don't have like a, a big repertoire with you know doing 50 Beowulf for their, you know, obviously they make 80% lowers, but just kind of a, a weird product line out there. Somebody in the company must just really enjoy them, the 50 Beowulf. So I'll probably end up picking up one of them um, down the line. Uh, as I said, this is more for hunting, so you know I wanted a, a low capacity. I have no need for a you know, big old 30 round magazine. This is sufficient right now uh, for all intents and purposes, but. <clears throat> You know, if I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it, I want a few more rounds to be able to plank through. So, yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, as of now, it holds three rounds. Um, you know, it's pretty comparable to uh, some bold action rifles that you would get. And, uh, you know, we'll see what we'll see what it does. Uh, if it works really well, then I'll probably just buy another cheap PMAG down the line and uh, just convert another one. But I uh, figured I'd give it give it a shot so if you have any thoughts or uh, any more ideas you know if maybe I need to open it up more uh, or if anybody else has tried this uh, let me know uh, I'll be sure to kind of take a look at it and see if there's anything else I need to change so alrighty thanks for watching and uh, be sure to post an update soon